Here now, Republican lawmakers Jim Jordan, Matt Gates, and Elise Stefanik is with us. Jim Jordan, there's four things that will never change. Four. <laughs> Four key facts. We got the transcript. There was no quid pro quo. The two guys on the call <laughs> said there was no pressure. I thought the Ukrainians I was good didn't at even lists. know the call You're was up. At list. Yeah, You're they didn't even know aid them. was held at the time of the call. And of course, they did nothing to get the aid released or to get a meeting with the president. Those facts have never changed, won't change. And that's why you got seven Democrats saying, come on, Nancy, send us the articles, for goodness sake. What do you think they're, they're pulling here, Matt Gates? She's trying hey, to. I just pull. I just hope to find a woman that will hold me as tight as Nancy Pelosi is holding on to those impeachment articles, Sean. I mean, this oh, week yeah, we've yeah, had yeah, Nancy yeah, Pelosi really, really, you get in lose trouble the on support. My show. Can you save that for fake news, CNN or something? <laughs> well, why Let me tell you something, show? Sean. When you lose the support of Dianne Feinstein and your Nancy Pelosi, it's not a good look. Uh, you know, this same week, the United States has lost the poor support of the Iraqi parliament to stay in Iraq. And Hollywood shows are losing the support of their own hosts. And it's only Wednesday. I think that by next week, we could end a forever war, dismiss impeachment, and Trump might win 40 states. I give you a check for humor, which nobody in the mainstream media has. Uh, Congresswoman Stefanik, your take. My take is that Pelosi has been exposed and the impeachment dam is breaking. We need to continue to keep the pressure up because she has no authority over the Senate. So it is absolutely audacious and outrageous that she has been willing to withhold this after urging the American people and Democrats, forcing them to take this vote on an arbitrary schedule. The real reason why I think she's holding back is she does not want to expose the coordination that we know happened between Adam Schiff and the whistleblower. And people can learn more and keep the pressure by going to pressurepelosi.com. Sign up, donate, and join the fight, and get this to the Senate, and make sure that we can clear President Trump. You know, when you look at these weak articles, Jim Jordan, on the serious side of this, this is the presidency, and yep. there was, if, if I recall, uh, you were there every day, such urgency. You were at the shift show um, every day, and such urgency, and this had to get done immediately, yeah. but never mind. Right. No, and the American people see how ridiculous this whole effort was. To, to, to uh, emphasize what Elise just said, think about this. On September 24th, when Speaker Pelosi announces she's going to head down this ridiculous impeachment road, she never expected every single Republican to vote no in the House. She never expected one Democrat to vote with us, another Democrat to vote present, and a third Democrat to vote no and then switch parties. And she certainly didn't expect seven Democrat senators to say what they said today. That shows you how ridiculous this whole thing is. And the sooner we get it done with, the the more that President Trump can be focused on doing the great things he's been doing and helping the country. And in many ways, Matt Gates, it's, it's all backfired on them because uh, the American people like rolling their eyes. They could care less. Um, I don't like the weakening of the executive branch, though. Uh, undoubtedly, and who it really has run and scared are the 31 Democrats who are in districts that Donald Trump won. Remember, Nancy Pelosi had to use political money as a weapon to threaten a lot of these folks to vote for impeachment. They were told if they did not vote for impeachment, they could not expect funding from the DCCC in their races. And so this wasn't a sincere effort to yeah. abide by the rule of law. It was a political hit job by Democrats we because they have no substantive argument against the Trump presidency.